The New Year is a time of celebration, hanging with family, doing fun things. But for me, this New Year's celebration is going to be about playing a freaking horror game. How's it going, everyone? My name is Randy, and welcome to Outlast. I decided to finally play this game because a friend of mine has been a little bit... I'm not sure if I want to say pressured, but influenced to play this game, but doesn't want to because they hate scary games. So, I am filling that position of playing this game for them, and experiencing the horrors that is Outlast. I've been meaning this, to play this game for a while, but I just never got around to it, so I'm glad I finally did. Anyway, I'm gonna turn that volume down a bit. I've heard a little bit about this game, and I exactly sure what the plot is. All I know is that you just run around with a camera avoiding scary things. So let's get into it and see what we got. Just make sure I'm recording properly. No, no, not the whistleblower DLC. Well, not yet anyway. Let's make sure my graphics scenes are good and let's go. Uh, normal. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories that no other journalist would dare investigate. He will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record anything. Everything. Anything and everything. Same thing. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of mountain to massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. <clears throat> bit thirsty now. I'll get some water in a bit. So I'm basically just going into a situation where I might die and I'm just going to record everything because that's just how far the priest is willing to go apparently to the depths of hell and back even if it kills them. Wow. At least shouldn't underestimate the power of the press. I've seen some things. Now massive asylum. Sorry. Hello, security. Open the gate. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Yeah, whatever. And of course it goes down the wrong way. <clears throat> September 17th, 2013, from 106... 106... 1026 at mutemail.com to miles... miles at gmail.com Not real emails. So to TIP, illegal activity at Murkoff. Psychi psychiatric systems. You don't know me. Had to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psych Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs and I am very much breaking. I am very much breaking right now. But seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy and going too deep finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. So yeah, if you are under the age of 18 watching this, please either don't watch this video or watch under parental supervision. Because I don't want people complaining in the comments that their kids are watching this and they're under 18 or 10 or something. Alright, let's see what we got here. So we got this mansion. Objectives are updating your reporter's notebook. 
kicked. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psych Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guide of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. Mulligan Jammer then lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disgusting profit as charity, never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. So I know I'm supposed to keep my camera raised most of the time, but... Um, I just want to say battery. Locked, of course. I'm definitely going to die. This is locked too. Scaffolding it is. Murko Psych Psychiatric Systems, Project Wallrider, have I said that right? Mount Massive Co, case number 174, patient initials WPH Billy. Sorry for my phone go off. It's nothing important. Consultation dated 2012, the 14th of October, I believe. Initial data patient consultant 2009, 12th of March. I don't know if it goes by date. 
month or day first or whatever. Patient 19, patient age 19, gender male, observing physician Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR. Therapy status, patient claims to progress to self-directed lucid dream states, Morph morphogenic engine active, I can't read, morphogenic engine activity observed at an unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics, Spir spirometry revealed no bronchial, bronchial accumulation. Frickit. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to sp separate erith erythrocytes, highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM NREM cycle, laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note only Traeger on company records. One Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies sorry. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider Massive Me Mount Massive Cut. Ugh. That's the monster zone. Kill me reading. Okay, you just have. You just go to the toilet there. Anyway, if the monster zone killed me, my brain cells will. Because I can't read today. I'm assuming I kind of handle because I just heard a lock. So. I'm just going to a vent and chase after mon monsters. This isn't making me sus. Hello. Some jump scares do get me sometimes. I mean, that's what scary games are supposed to do be scary. Otherwise, what's the point of them? They killed us. You got out. The very. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Okay, yeah, let's take his advice and keep moving. I have no idea where I'm going though, but I have... When it comes to these games, I... Oh, hello. Did I die? Okay, that was supposed to happen. Hello, who are you? And who are you? Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. I thought I turned subtitles Guard your on. life, son. Sorry. You have a calling. I'll turn them on after this cutscene. Okay, good. I thought I died there. Broke clean. 
escape the assignments, escape the with this. Proclaim the gospel. I'm not getting paid enough of this shit. Alright, let me turn on. Where's subtitles? There we go. I thought they were on in the first place. Sorry. What was that new thing I got, by the way? No, that's not it. Uh, documents. Notes. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. The badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems, or Mars, for short. Murkoff's long-time M.O. has been to profit of the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the Third World and bankroll another million. Billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? <sighs> There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would I have been... Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. But nope. Too late now. We're stuck here. But yeah, when it comes to these games, I have an unusually good sense of direction, and I may seem like a common collector person sometimes, but this is the point of this game. It's supposed to scare me, otherwise, what's the point of it being a horror game? So, yeah, there'll be a few jump scares every now and then. What's this? Uh, I'll do my best to read through all this, but I might give up soon. Too many of my brain cells die. Uh, let's see. Patient initials COW Walker. Skip through some of it. Get to the therapy status. <sighs> mm, sorry. Sorry I'm yawning a lot. My brain doesn't like it when I read. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm, whatever that means. Future me, put up with that, whatever that means, please. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Sp spirometry revealed light to medium bronchidal accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker is interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have been restraints have been wait restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous dick size <laughs> extensive dermal eruptions is consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity he claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows a tr for a truer way of seeing seems to have some boyhood experience with two atara lizards and they're Paretial, that word, in their eyes, of whatever that word is. Paretal. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be regarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. Continuation of both, both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Oh god, sensitivity. Peak. It's gonna go this way now. Great. I have to go towards him. I'd rather not. This is another way around. Elevator, please. <coughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, that was locked. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd rather go that way and die, so I'll just. Ooh. Hello. I literally thought you were gonna come straight at me. Witness. Oh, no, I didn't mean to reload. Crap. I'm beginning the buttons already. J. The witness. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass on my scalp, couple cracked ribs. How are you alive? Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his. <laughs> <laughs> nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody. He nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. <laughs> He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a home made priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them in for my benefit. This game can also be funny sometimes. Okay, I accidentally reloaded, so I hope I find another battery soon. I'd just like to have another battery, just in case. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you there. What was the button again? It was J for that. And I guess... Just tab for that. I don't know. Please let there be a battery here. Thank God. I didn't like that. Just gonna record that anyway. Ooh. Ooh, this is getting good. This door needs a key card. Alright, let's see if I can find one. I guess smashing the window is out of the option? That's not an option? Damn. That guy hit the wrong side of the desk. Uh, let's see. To group 8416 Murkov Corp. LU. Dear Sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkov Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any lit litigation to make any litigation. If evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative and there will most almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishing unlikely. Violence among patients is increasingly increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to has been sufficiently effective to assure contain continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen. Helen Granite, Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. Great. Now where do I go? There was no key card there, was there? Hello? Do you have a key card? <laughs> Excuse me. No. That was control the crouch, let's see. You have a key card? No. Is that one? No, it's just a barcode. Alright, moving on. Uh, what's in door number 8125? 
Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just the wheel chair. Locked as well. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. Okay, I'll just leave you to your misery then. Alright, well, the only place left to go is that monster over there. So, let's just hope I don't die in the process. And if I do, then... Oh well. Live and learn. Or, well, die and learn, in this case. I don't know exactly when the checkpoint is gonna be, but... I will record for a little bit longer. Hello there? Sir? Are you okay? I mean, obviously you don't look okay, but... Hello? I'll just leave you be then. Hey, what you watching? Static? My favorite show. I love it. Well, as long as you guys aren't out to kill me, then that's just fine. You guys have fun watching your TV show or whatever it is you're doing. Later. I'm assuming this door is locked. Yep. Hello? Anyone in here? Do you have a key card? Ah, you do. Thank you, good sir. Doo dee doo dee doo. Complete rules are updating. Updating your objective is get the same. Access security control. Completed uh, up collected objects are updated in the thing. Yeah. I got it. I just won't run for a good ah! Oh, hello. Get them out! Please! <laughs> because you're in yeah. there! Yeah. Yeah. Please! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ow. Okay. I'll just record your misery. If I can record myself. Alright, we got the key card. Now, uh, where is that place I was supposed to go? This way? I believe so. You gotta look behind you while running. Okay, cool. That's good. Beep. They lie. Alright. That keyboard doesn't look like it has all its keys. But, alright. Accessing security system. Ooh. Hey, it's you again. Ah, damn it. Saving. Restart the generator in the basement. Hide in the locker. Don't try to fight. Alright. Oh, no, like I have anything to fight with anyway. I'll just panic. Vroom. Okay, and I think I'm going to end this episode here for now. 
this is a pretty good game so far, just as I remember. Uh, I remember seeing Outlast a Whistleblower DLC a long time ago, and hmm, what if what if the plot of Outlast may be whether I'm just recording some hmm, scary stories for the press, or I'm just getting the shit scared out of me, beaten out of me, or whatever kind of horrors look around every corner. Outlast is a game that lives up to his name. You gotta outlast the horrors of wherever you're going and whatever the game throws at you, whether it just be you know, random bodies from the ceiling, that fat guy that showed up tried, is probably gonna try to kill me, but let's just see how far I get. I'll do my best to get to the end, but thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to my awesome channel, and let me know if you're liking this series so far. I would, I would like to play more of it. Gives me something to do on my YouTube channel, I guess. And I will see you guys next time. Later, everyone.